Matt Lawrence, VopkinSports.com here at Homewood Field. The Blue Jays knockoff crosstown rival Loyola. The final score 14 to 11 this afternoon. I'm joined now by head coach Janine Tucker. We're looking at this offensive attack, we talked about it a little last week how you get production from everywhere. Last week it was Maggie with six points, Miranda with six points, today Emily with three goals, Miranda with three goals, and uh, Nicole with three goals as well. Just continue to talk about what it means to have that type of efficiency on your offense. Well, um, we have a very unselfish offense, and I think the girls just uh, want to make each other look good and they're trying to find the right we're trying to find the right combinations it's been kind of different every game so it's nice to have that kind of depth but they don't care who scores they don't care who sets their, their teammate up they really just want to make sure that we're, we're getting a great win and I've been really pleased to have double digit goals in the first three games against some really good teams so I think just playing really unselfish and being able to make good decisions in front of the cage is, is what we're looking for now we got to talk a little bit about the freshmen on this team sure. between Aurora Shelby um, um, Keegan at the draw circle, the two of them at yep, the midfield Jeannie, position. And yep. Defense, yeah. yep. I, and I just want to kind of talk about first with Shelby at the draw circle today against one of you know one of the best draw specialists yes. in the country in Van Thoff. Yes. Just talk about her play a little bit and what it meant uh, for your team. Well, we're very lucky to have two center draw specialists that really are our prim primary one, Shelby and Lexi Souder, and they both work very hard um, on that specialty position. And I, Shelby watched a lot of film. She really switched up her stances. She was really trying to counter what Van Thoff was doing because she's quite good. And then it came down to heart and hustle. So between Shelby and Keegan and Emily Kennel coming up. With some of those hard fall ground balls our draw our draw play was what got us this win as well as our ride i was really really pleased what was going on in between the 30s and boy our defense locked down the, when they needed to and we were able to pop a good couple of goals in to gain our momentum back the freshmen have been awesome all year all fall they've been really pushing not only they've been doing really well themselves but they've been pushing everyone else to, um, to get better themselves and i mean it's making a big big huge impact in the draw and, and on the offensive side they've been doing awesome i'm so proud and Nicole, I kind of want to talk about you. You've really embraced this midfield position. Last year, you kind of bounced back and forth between the midfield and attack. Now as a full-time midfielder, just talk about your transition to the midfield and how you've embraced that role. Yeah, I mean, Coach Tyra and Coach Dan and Coach Tucker, they've been really great, um, especially making the transition with Shannon moving to the top, graduating Haley. They kind of called, called upon me and said, you know, we need a little bit more from you. We need to lead the committees like Shelby and Keegan because we're a young group. But, um, I mean, they're doing great. They're, they're, they show it every night, every game, and um, it's fun. That's a wrap from Home Woodfield. Final score, Johns Hopkins 14, Loyal 11-3 Blue Jays net hat-tricks here tonight at Home Woodfield. Thanks for watching.